Well, it's been an absolutely wild weekend. Uh, former President Trump's attempted assassination is shocking and terrible. And at a time like this, we wonder to ourselves, what should we do? In fact, what should we do as Christians? Our society is completely collapsing before our very eyes. And President Trump's assassination attempt is, is evidence of this collapse. Well, I think that Paul has some pretty good advice for us. He says this, I urge you then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. You know, in my view, I think that a lot of the reason that we don't have peace and justice in this world is due to the prayerlessness of the people of God. After President Marcos's regime was toppled in 1986, Filipino Christians attributed his downfall to their lack of prayers. I want to emphasize what Paul says here. He urges that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people, including kings and all those in authority. You see, it doesn't really matter whether you're a d Democrat or a Republican. We should commit ourselves to pray for our leaders, pray for their leadership, because it plays a huge part in if our society has peace or not, which therefore then gives greater opportunity to share Christ and for the gospel to flourish. Therefore, Paul instructs Christians to pray for their national leaders, and he does so when the Emperor Nero was on the throne. I mean, Nero was a horribly evil leader who persecuted Christians. So that tells us that whoever we have in authority, let us pray for them. And right now, the thing to do in regards to former President Trump is to pray. Pray for health. Pray for his political career, that it would bring blessing and peace. Pray that he would draw near to Jesus Christ. And pray that God's will would be done within his life. I mean, Trump was two inches away from getting killed. What should we do? Pray. Well, thank you so much. God bless you in the way.